What do cigar boxes, aged red oak wood, and a retired man have in common? Most of the time, probably nothing. But we found a place where that trio flows together like sheet music along the way in the northern hills. Downstairs in the basement of a home up in Spearfish, 75-year-old Richard Rutherford, retired from construction management, still manages to build. I think making anything out of wood is beautiful, but to make it sing is wonderful. He makes guitars out of cigar boxes. I acquire these up at the Deadwood Tobacco Company, and when they sell the cigars out of them, then they sell the boxes to whoever would want one. And wood. Well, this is roughing it with a rasp. With a small note of mystery to its history. I finally decided on red oak for its look, its, its grain, and its strength. And I found at uh, Kellogg Sawmill here in Spearfish, they had a bunch of reclaimed red oak that had come, I think, from around somewhere around Custer. He actually gets a lot of his cigar boxes online as well. A company buys the bulk from Central America or the Dominican Republic. Each wooden box with its own melodious look. It all started when Richard was looking at a magazine and saw an ad for a cigar box guitar kit. I bought the kit, built it, was really impressed with the sound it had out of the little thing, and said, I think I could do better than that. And so I started buying parts. And he began making his own cigar box guitars. The significance of this one is the first custom built cigar box guitar that I built after building that, that kit. He's now made about 45. G, D, G. And that's considered a straight G tuning. And he can make them any way he wants. But the sound on it is definitely brassy. He makes one string, two, three, four, and six string guitars. So far, no five stringer. The kit guitar had the wooden neck on top of the cigar box. Rutherford would rather have it go through the box. And that takes the tension off the cigar box. The boxes aren't strong enough to take the tension of the strings. While he makes them, he cannot play them, at least not yet. The last time I'd been serious about making music was over 45 years ago. And while Richard is learning, his friend, 65-year-old Steve Barna, plays like he was born with a guitar in his hands. You know, I mean, I can do... Or I can do... So I can do, you know, Hank Williams or Cream. I would say the whole genre of the cigar box guitars is homemade, homegrown hillbilly music. Turns out, cigar boxes, aged red oak, and a retired man fit together like the strumming strings of a handmade guitar. If you've met someone cool along the way, please call or email us to let us know. He says he's given away about a dozen of his cigar box guitars, uh, but he also sells them at places like the Jacobs Gallery in Deadwood. Uh, he's been making those only for about 18 months, and he's calling his business Beetle Tune Guitars. 